Hey, what's going on? Now this is going to be a crazy one. So, you know, when you see those sewer flies, they usually look like little moths. And they have um, um, two different size wings. And some actually look like um, fruit flies. They're darker. Um, you might have a serious problem. And if they're around all the time and you can't get rid of them, they could be living underneath your house. How are you going to fix that? That means you have a sewer problem. So this is a, a pretty big job in this particular house. It was a slab house. And um, you really need to find somebody that knows what they're doing. Okay. Um, so here um, you could see where we cut the floor out. Okay. And we had to start digging. And we're going to dig underneath this poor guy's house. So this is... This is his floor, cut with a concrete slab, and now we're going to start digging down. And we're going to have to find the sewers where they're broken. Um, in this particular case, the sewers were very low, um, some like six, eight feet. And so to replace the sewers, we had a tunnel underneath the house, which meant going, luckily a lot of the sewers were in the hallways, so the hallways came out. And uh, you can see we're using plastic. And this is not, not we. This is a, a, a contractor in Cleveland, um, Cleveland Waterproofing, a really good friend of mine. They've been doing this for decades and decades. And they do sewers and stop all kind of house problems. And this particular person had no choice but to have to remove the dirt and tunnel. Well, we didn't tunnel. I have other cases where we did tunnel underneath homes. Here it was easier just to dig it out. And you can see these pictures. Now, when you're doing this, a lot of times the people don't want to move, or at least they don't want to put all the stuff away. So you got to like move everything into certain rooms, put up your plastic, they you have dust control, you got to seal off the cold air returns. You know, in this particular case, we're talking negative pressure because you're going to have humidity. So you have to run a dehumidifier. Otherwise, you're going to have condensation. You're not going to be able to do this job in a week. You know, this is probably a month job. So, you know, they put a plastic and they put barricades and doors and things throughout. And here you can see here we're starting a tunnel. Um, then another thing you could do, if your guy is good, he'll use dye testing. So that, that dye to try to find out, you know, where the water's going, where the, they're broken. Um, and And then another thing is, you know, your workers got to know what they're doing. They're going to jackhammer. First, you're going to cut it, right? You get the saw cut. You get a saw cut with water or you're going to create dust. You know, how are you going to do this? And if you have water, you got to don't want to ruin the rest of the house. This is not an easy job. And and so you got a saw cut and then you got a jackhammer and you got dust, right? And, and then you got to be careful about all the pipes and all the plumbing and all the electrical and conduits that are underneath it. So you got to know what you're doing here, okay? And these were all the domestic pipes that they had to dig around. And you can see the sewer there is broken, the sanitary, okay? And in this case, we're still up high, okay? This was in one area of the house. But in other areas of the house, it dropped down to 10 feet, and you'll see. So there's plastic all through here, okay? And this is just ongoing photography, and that was a negative air machine you see there. Negative air machine, basically, you know, when you're making this kind of dust, uh, it's not a bad idea to uh, try to minimize it, have a HEPA filter, you know, and that's what's happening here. And this is all because of a few sewer flies. Now, I know I did a few inspections, and let me, let me uh, move on a little bit. Let's move down to here. Um, I did a couple home inspections where... The home inspector, you know, these realtors, you know, they refer out home inspectors and say, oh, use this guy. <laughs> you know what? Go for it. This is the house, I think, that had a realtor for a home inspector. And I think maybe the home inspector, it, it, I think he saw flies. And he said, oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about those flies. Just put some bleach down the drain. Bleach down the drain. You know what? Uh-uh. You got to understand, these things have a gestation temperature. Uh, I remember I studied it. This, this, this is about a six-year-old project. So I think that the 
it's around 79 or 83 degrees. So they need that temperature and every couple of weeks they reproduce again. So they need that hot water, they need the ground, you know, the ground underneath the house is at 55, right? And then you, then they need that hot water and then if the pipes leak, they leak in the ground and then they get their larvae and all of a sudden all the slabs, this is a slab house, so the what happens also is that uh, um, the soil settles underneath the slab and then they live underneath the slab and they can come up through the walls and through the cracks and through the outlets, you know, and uh, so sewers are a big deal and that's sewer, sewer flies. And here you can see where uh, the drains, we're getting into them here. And he's checking the slope on them. Now, they weren't all replaced, but they're all being exposed. There's a little bit more of the, uh, you can see that that light is down about five feet. Okay. And there's, all, we're going to fill it back in with, we're going to take all that dirt out. Think about it, you got to carry all that dirt out and then bring in stone. You got to compact the stone. So, you know, these fruit flies cost this poor guy probably $60,000 or more. And I've been on jobs that were, you know, $60,000, $80,000 all day long, especially when you have to, um, uh, this is uh, the out backyard. We'll skip all this. We'll skip all this. That's my buddy Johnny, Johnny Massetti. He owns Cleveland, uh, Cleveland uh, Waterproofing. And they do these, they do structural repairs all over Cleveland, foundation repairs crazy stuff like this only a few people know how to do this kind of stuff you just can't hire uh, any old co company to do these kind of repairs so let's move on let's get back into the center of the house we're going to skip some of these things and so here we are back in the house and you know the plastic thing is pretty important you know you have to have enclosures now this is not like an asbestos where you have three rooms, a clean room, you know, a room that you shower in and all that. Now, this is for dust control. And you know what? You don't want dust. Now, look how deep that hole is. And now, another thing you got to worry about is when you're digging these holes, you got to brace them walls. So these are just braces from keeping the walls from, because this is about eight, ten feet down. I remember went down in there. And it's flooded, and they had to pump the water out in a, a couple areas. And every night they had to put these covers on. And so this is, imagine this being your hallway. Imagine you having an inspection, and your inspector says, Oh, you know, the inspector that the realtor referred to, you know, the one that that says, oh, look how pretty the drywall, look how pretty the wallpaper is. Oh, that's such a beautiful kitchen. Oh, don't worry about those flies. Just put some bleach down the drain. It'll go away. Yeah, yeah. This is a $60,000 bleach job, okay? And I don't even know what it is. It's been a while. could have been more. And there, look at that ladder. Look how far down we got to go. All hand dug. Think about that. You're not bringing a backhoe inside of a house. This is in this guy's hallway in his living room, okay? A hole. Now, I don't know, if I did all this, I may have continued on digging and probably made a basement out of it because a little bit more digging, we have a full basement. And you can see, we're in the hole now. We're down about six feet in the hallway. And there's the plumbing. And so all the plumbing, that's the bottom of the slab. That's what you walk on above. And, um, and you can see where there was a vapor barrier underneath it. And that's Johnny, my buddy. And there it is. There's their hallway. That was their deepest part of the dig. All because of sewer flies. All because of sewer flies. So, I do have a service. Um where I can talk to people and maybe try to solve your problems. Um, you just uh, Google, call Marco with a question, and that's Marco with a K. And for around 29 bucks, I can talk to you. You can send me photos. It, it doesn't have to be about sewer flies. It could, it could be a, 
about mice or animals in the attic or noises and weird anomalies or stains or you want me to read a contract should not get ripped off by you know a, a company that wants to do work um, also uh, below I have some um, links I do sell some products so hey um, please rate subscribe and watch more videos hey thanks for coming on And this was Cleveland Waterproofing. So if you're in Cleveland and you have a water issue, a plumbing issue, or any crazy thing that most people can't do, these guys got it. They have all the equipment, all the knowledge. They've done it all. So, hey, thanks for coming on.